Hey boy, what are you doing back here? I know you. Yawn. Who are you? Don't you see I'm busy? I'm busy standing around? If I've lost a button, I never lose buttons or anything. I'm not a half-wit like you. <laughs> what? You don't want... You want to know what happened to the chickens last night? Mm. Yeah, I know what happened. It was awful. But why should I tell you? You really want to know, don't you? Heh, <laughs> let's see. I'll tell you if you do me a favor. Take this shovel next to me and muck out the pigsty and I'll tell you what I know. Don't get lazy on me. That sludge should behave like a mirror when you're done. Otherwise, I won't tell you jack. Now move it. Good God. Loki. Nope, oh, get this. Get this. We need that. We don't want to use our hands. <laughs> but I like that we get to play with the piggies because they're so cute. I can't handle the cuteness. I want to have a piggy pet and put it in my saddle. Look at him! Look at his face! That one's polka dot. Polka dot pig. Oh god, that looks like it hurts. Ah! Sorry, Wolf Pepper. You done mucking you out? Ow. I was gonna say yet. Good, I'll tell you all I know. You understand? I said nothing, because I know nothing. Ah! You're so gullible. Oh my god. Why? Some people in this game are so mean. Man. I hate you, Loki. I hate you. What a wise guy. I bet Freya's really nice and Tor. Nobody knew anything? I knew it. This is useless. I don't think I'll just have to accept that the chickens are gone. You don't want to quit? That's the spirit! However, I don't know who else you could ask. Actually, I guess you could talk to Freya. Freya knows everything, I bet you. She barely knows what a chicken is. But you want to give it a shot? Go ahead. She's over there by the hammock. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I knew she was the key. Cause she's doing ballet. Cause she's got buttons all over her top. Is she missing one? They're blue though. Casper! Is she being a what? What? Casper! Have you seen Casper? Please, please help me find him. He's run off and I can't find him. Please, please, please. Chicken? No, he's a cat. How stupid are you? I can't do anything until I find him. I can't. Casper! I'm freaking my dog out, you guys, with that voice. <laughs> He's in this tube. Nope. Oh, maybe he's in here with the cows. Seems like a perfectly good place to hang out if you're a cat. There he is. I found him. Oh, I thought he'd be in my inventory. <laughs> nope. No, no. Casper, you're back! Don't run away again! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Is that a button you're holding? I know that button. Oh gosh, here we go. This button is so beautiful. Every time I see the coat it sits on, I think, I want those buttons. Whose coat? He sold? He sold. It's he sold's coat. I sold. He sold, right? I had that right, right? I don't have time for you anymore. I need to take care of my little Casper. He's a cat. Leave him alone. That's how you take care of it. Speak to my dad if you need anything. Okay, bye. Do your ballet. Or looks like she's doing karate stuff. That looked like the crane one. This family is full of laughs. 
Mm-hmm. Hey there, how's it going? You know whose button it is? It belongs to your sword? What? What are you saying? No. She would never steal any chickens. No, Cadence, you're on the wrong track. Your sword would never do such a thing. She's a conscientious girl. If I know her? Well, she used to be here all the time, but then she started to hang out with my son. Uh oh. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Her mother put a stop to her visits here. She believed my son to be a bad influence, as she put it. Loki was devastated. Since then, he's become this bitter slacker who talks back and refuses to help around the farm. I always liked a Dune. A Dune? I didn't? Oh. She seemed like a good person, but in that case, she went overboard, if you ask me. Couldn't she have spoken to Martina and myself first? Now you know, but as I said, a soul would never steal anything. Why don't you ride over there and speak to her yourself? She lives on the Gold Spurs grounds on the other side of Yalheim. But trust me, she would never do such a thing. We'll find out. Hello, and welcome to the Gold Spur Farm. Family, farm. Uh, what now? Stealing chickens? What? No, not me. If I've been to the Sunfield Farm, uh, no, never. Or not in a long time, at least. Oh, Tristan and Isolde, that was a movie, right? That's why I was trying to remember that name. I'm innocent. I would never steal chickens. Or anything else, for that matter. How dare you make such a claim? No, I don't want to speak to you anymore. Wait a second. What is that? Oh, my button. Thank you. I've been looking for that all day. Such luck. I thought I'd lost it forever. That was kind of you. Where did you find it? Well, young lady. What? You found the button on the Soulfield farm? How is that possible? I don't wear that particular... I didn't wear that particular coat yesterday. Or ever. You don't believe me? How dare you? If you think I've been on the Sunfield farm, then prove it. Well, I have your button. Let's see if you are any smart. Prove it was me who stole those chickens. Oh, whoa, we get to do evidence. Uh, you were at the Sunfield farm. You weren't home. Oh, I'll return. Let's talk to her, her dad or whoever this is. Chicken stolen at the Sunfield farm? How dare you accuse my sister is sold of that? It was Loki. Why are you snooping around here? Loki did it. How do I know how I know that? <laughs> Loki always does that sort of thing. You found his old button by the chicken coop? Don't you get it? Loki stole it pla- Loki- I'm struggling today. Holy cow. Loki stole it and placed it by the chicken coop to blame his old. He's both sneaky and nasty, that creep. How I knew the button was found by the chicken coop? Uh-oh. Of course the buck button must have been by the chicken coop. That's where Loki stole the chickens. You said so. If the button belongs to Isolde as you're claiming, it's obvious he stole it to blame her. That boy's so rotten, blaming my sister, who's the best and kindest. If I see him, then... Listen. If you still think Isolde did it, speak to my grandfather, Jacob. He'll vouch for her. He'll probably be like, I don't know where she was last night. <clears throat> if his old would have stolen chickens on the Sunfield farm, ho ho ho! No, that can't be right. <laughs> his old is always diligent and always follows the rules. She wouldn't even steal a feather from a chicken. When I saw her last, <clears throat> early this morning, which is a little unusual, she's never up that early. His old has many good qualities, but being an early bird is not one of them. What she was doing at the time? She came riding on a horse she'd borrowed from the stable. Where'd she'd been? 
You're all questions, aren't you? I apologize, but I don't have time to speak to you all day. You need to come back later. It's important. Well, so is this. I need to carry bags from- Oh, we'll do it. We'll do it, and then you'll tell us all you know. My horsies. Aww. Whoa, slow down. Slow down, Wolf Pepper. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Stop. Go. Oh my god, she goes so slow. Where? Oh. Thank you. It was kind of you to help me. What was it that you wanted to know where Sold had been when I saw her this morning? She said she'd waken early and ridden to Greendale. I thought it to be a bit odd since she came from the other direction, but today's youth do all sorts of odd things, so I don't give it any more thought. Anything else I noticed? Well, I wondered why she had taken the horse with that broken shoe. I haven't had time to replace it, but I've put up a notice on the horse's stable booth saying not to ride it. I asked her how she could have missed it, but she just mumbled back and left hurriedly. I don't always understand the ways of today's youth, but that note was impossible to miss unless she'd been there during the night and there had been a power outage killing the lights. If that had been the case, I might have understood. Well, I need to keep going. I hope my answers were of some help. Goodbye. Alright, let's tell her. You weren't home last night. Nobody saw me, uh, that is, since I wasn't out. Nobody could have seen me. Sort of. Um, that old guy saw you. You're lying. Oh, God. Your soul turns her back to you. If you want her to cop to being at the Sunfield farm last night, you'll need proof. Speak to the others on the Goldsburg grounds to see if you can find clues. But I did talk to that guy. Let's try again. You weren't home last night. Oops, another question. You were at Sunfield Farm. That's it. Jacob saw you coming back. Maybe I was out this morning, but I have been to the Sunfield Farm for weeks. Why do you think I have? Uh, Freya told me. Wait, oh, come on. She did. Alright you guys, here's where I leave you today. Did she do it? Did she not do it? Who stole the chickens? We'll find out next time on Let's Play Star Stable. Zoe Southfall. Hi, I'm a great fan of yours. I was wondering if I could maybe meet you sometime. I understand if you don't have the time, but I really want to meet you. I love all the work you do on your channel and you're silly and funny. Eh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for your compliments. I would love to meet up. It's just usually easiest when I do a big meetup or I'm on on the weekends. Usually I'm on during the day, on weekdays, to record because there's less people on. Like, that's what I'm usually looking for when I'm trying to record quests and stuff. It's so I can get through it quicker because it takes a while, especially if I'm stopping to talk to people. Um, but if I happen to run into you, I have no problem saying hello and stuff. That's fine. Thank you, Zoe. Sabrina Queenhaven, where are you? Well, right now I'm in Yarlheim. <laughs> Kate Mountainstar, hello! Hey there, Stacey, I'm a huge fan of your videos and I am always anticipating the next one. I saw on Facey, that must be Facebook, <laughs> that's a good way around it, <laughs> that you were sick of, oh, see this, oh, I was like to hit my thing. This must have been a while ago because I was sick um, last month. It was pretty terrible. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better. I would love to see you open this in a video just because nothing like that has ever happened to me. Oh, well here you go! 
Anyway, I'm doing a show tomorrow on my horse, Cowboy, so wish me luck. Oh, I hope your show went well. I'm so jealous of all you guys that get to ride horses in real life. I did a race over the past weekend, um, a 5K marathon, and, like, the whole trip there were horse farms uh, around the whole course, and it was fun to pass all the horses and see them. Some of them kept looking at it like, who are these hundreds of people going by? What is this? They were just standing still like, <gasps> do we move? What is happening? <laughs> It was so funny. Some of them didn't care. They were like, yeah, whatever, people. But some were really, really perturbed <laughs> that there were hundreds of people going by their farm. <laughs> it was great. So I hope you and Cowboy had a great show. <laughs> Thank you.